we're back. <laughs> I know it's been a hot minute, but um, we're really getting into this. Somebody's now around all the time, so we can uh, actually show you the process because all I was doing was keeping these things alive. He actually knows how to make them grow. So let's get to it. So what are we doing? We are going rogue and starting pepper plants in January. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to start? Well, that's a good question. At least bells and jalapenos. Okay. I don't know why I started where I started, but... <laughs> it's fine. It'll work out. A little over moistened, but it was dry as dirt. No. <laughs> so the whole, so I know we were talking about this before. The whole point of starting now is we're hoping to get bells in June. Yeah, at least before winter. <clears throat> yeah. We have never had great success with peppers. Which is sad because we both really like bell peppers. Yeah, we do. We and jalapeno peppers. I mean, in the last week, we've probably combined a, a easily a dozen bell peppers. So we're hoping that we actually get a decent amount this time. Because what happened last year is they were still flowering at freeze. So we lost them. So I don't know. But we're, we're going to be planning a lot this year. More than I think we've ever planted before. Um, this is our indoor garden. I know we did a video on this a while back. Um, ooh, we need to cut lettuce, don't we? But we've got lettuce and spinach and a couple bells there. One bell and one jalapeno. Oh, never mind. One bell, one jalapeno. And then you're overwintering some Strawberry. strawberries. I was trying to grow lettuce in that container just to keep them in a container instead of having them take up the big tray, but obviously they prefer the big tray. <laughs> Apparently. So we're gonna be cutting that today. We're gonna have fresh lettuce in January, which is pretty much amazing. Did we decide on six? That's what we said, yeah. Unless you wanna do more. I think we said six because you originally were gonna do them in the bigger pots and six fit in that thing. Yeah. But now you decided to go smaller and grow them as they... Since I'm around, I could transplant. Yeah. Up pot or whatever. Up pot, isn't that the technical term? Yeah. So what's in your uh, mix? What are you mixing? Do you even remember? Yeah, this was uh, garden soil mixed with peat moss mixed with perlite. Okay. And I forgot to add that in. Oh, well. Yeah, so that's been sitting there, but um, we, forgot we didn't stuff. use it. So it'll get used at some point because if you've noticed these lovely giant trays that we have, we're going to be well, making... <laughs> I remember why. I was going to use it when I was going to use these pots. So okay. I was going to fill them three quarters up with this mix with some extra fertilizer in it to uh, give them a boost. But since I'm going to up pot them, I was, I'll save mixing fertilizer in until we pot them up. That makes sense. Yeah, but what I was saying is this is our seedling table. Is that a good term for it? Yeah. <laughs> Grow table? I don't... Seed starting table? Um, we'll have to... We'll do a walkthrough of this when we get closer to actually, like, fully starting seeds. This is kind of a test. We really don't even know if this is going to be something that's going to work. <laughs> but yeah. we're going to try it. People will probably say this is way too moist, but it'll drain out. Mm-hmm. So this is our lovely container of all of our seeds. And while he's finishing up that step, let's see if I can figure Behind this out. Onions. So we're going to do some onions. Um, what is this? I don't know. Cabbages. Cabbage. Oh yeah. We're so we've been, on we, we're undecided on cabbages. Um, we have a lot of bugs. And they keep dying. 
So we might just end up buying cabbage. I don't know. A um, little plug for in my gardener, his seeds. Let's see. So I'm kind of going crazy on herbs this year. So we've got traditional basil, um, Baker Creek. If you guys are not getting Baker Creek seeds, you do not know what you're missing. These, like, we've not had any problems with any of their seeds. No, I mean, my gardener seeds are good, too. Yeah, in, in my gardener seeds, um, where's he out of? Am I? Michigan? Michigan. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know where people are, but Baker Creek, it says on there that it's Missouri. Yes. <laughs> it helps. Um, anyway, so we got two different types of basil. Thyme, oregano, dill, elephant dill, rosemary. Uh, it'll, uh, Italian parsley, those are hot peppers, um, jalapenos, that's the one you want, right? Or do you want the other one? Okay. Um, banana pepper? I thought we weren't going to do bananas. Okay, well. Early. Okay. And the Ozark Giants, uh, Keystone. Keystones. And other tomatoes. Yeah, that should be all That's of them. That's all of them? Okay. So then we also got, so I'm pretty excited about our tomatoes this year, guys. Like, it, I'm going to have to do whole videos on just our tomatoes. I'm so excited. So we've got, these are Baker Creek Hungarian hearts. If you notice, they look kind of like hearts. They're a, um, they're a sauce tomato. If you notice, they're super meaty, which is awesome. Then we've got Abe Lincoln's. We have had phenomenal luck with these things. They are, they look like they're eating tomatoes, which you could easily turn them into like tomatoes for sandwiches or whatever. But when you cut these babies open, it is nothing but meat inside. It's fabulous. Um, marigolds. I'm going to have to control Brandon on the marigolds this year. Last year we, um, they kind of took over and like killed out everything. Loofahs. I'll wander over there and show you the loofahs. That was a uh, random purchase last year that actually turned out well. Zucchinis, hopefully we'll get some zucchinis this year. Spaghetti squash, cucumbers. Y'all know how I feel about cucumbers. Boston pickling are the only ones that I will allow Brandon to grow. Uh, <laughs> we're doing radishes, a couple different types. Brandon, what one of the radish are we gonna do? Icon radish. <laughs> he literally bought them just because he likes saying it. Slice. Slice. Soil. Spinach, Swiss chard, uh, five color. We've got, oh, this was our free seeds. So yeah, if you purchase a certain amount with Baker Creek, you get free seeds. And it's kind of entertaining what you get. Um, so we've got Merlot lettuce. Um, carrots, a couple different types of carrots. And then beans, and that's all I can see in there. So let's munch it back over here. Now, I'm assuming you skipped things just because we're not doing that many. Yeah, and to give them a little space since we're not doing that many. And to make my life easier when I try to repot them. Valid. So these are the... Which ones are those? Those are the burpee ones. Okay. I'm hoping to get larger jalapeno peppers instead of... <laughs> That's one problem we've always had, is we get these, like, little jalapenos, which I can show you. We have some in our freezer. Um, we get tons of jalapenos, but they're, like, the size of my thumb. <laughs> so they're super seedy and super hot. Um, there is a lot of capsaicin uh, lines in them, so... We're hoping to get some larger jalapenos this year. I don't remember how old these pepper seeds are, so I'm doing three instead of two. I don't remember what, but they're good. Keystones. Yeah. Like I think keystones were last year, but I might be mistaken. Yeah, I don't know. I cannot answer that question. Like I said, I just pick and keep things alive and can things. Um, I'm not very good at the whole gardening thing. 
But I have a feeling Brandon's not going to let me um, get away with not knowing anything this year. <laughs> but I am very happy he's home now and is going to be taking care of a lot of this for me. Part of the reason why he built this contraption last year was so, one, um, because I'm forgetful. Let's just be flat out honest. Yes, it was as automated as humanly possible. Yeah. All right, well, he's finishing that up. I'm going to wander over here and show you our loofahs. So, yeah, this was a, we needed, a, like, one more to get, was it free shipping? Or something like that I don't know but anyway we bought loofahs and they actually ended up growing really well so I've still got to clean them but this is um here, I'll show you once they're dry they dry out and look like dish sound like maracas and that's how you know they're ready and then you peel them and you get this and what's cool is um once you clean them you gotta clean these guys. You can slice them up and the outside you can use as an exfoliator for your skin, but the inside can be used as a scrub sponge for pots and pans. And they're, uh, they work on nonstick, they work on anything, um, which is really cool. But yeah, you just uh, soak them down and there you go. And they, each one has like 500 something seeds in it. It's crazy the amount of seedage that you get out of these. But yeah, that was kind of our, uh, we had 30 some odd loofahs that we needed to do something with and Brandon built a hanging contraption so they would dry. Those aren't giant, those are new for this year? Yeah. Okay. And those last four California Wonder Bells that I saved Oh, so these are our seeds that were. So who knows what they're crossed with and what they're going to be, but. And I'm just using your standard seed starting to cover it. Yeah. I mean. And covering them dry because the other stuff was plenty moist. Yeah. Maybe it won't mold. And... I don't know. We'll see. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. Basically. Well, we'll be back in a minute because I'm assuming you're also going to be hooking up the lights today. Yeah, I'll set them up. I probably won't turn them on, but All we right, can well, set them up. We'll set them up. We'll be back. Okay, so this is the light setup. It's exactly the same as over there. Um, you use LEDs, right? Yes. Yeah. LED lights that he's rigged up onto that thing. And then these will adjust as everything gets higher. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, they're going to hang out under there. And that's pretty much what we got going on, which is kind of cool. So yeah, hope this video was a little bit enlightening of where we've been for the last, you know, little bit of time. Um, and we will see you guys around. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this, share it with your friends. Don't see ya. Don't forget about TikTok and Instagram. Oh, that is right. We have a TikTok account, same name. Um, see you over there too.